Uh, and, my, and, and my first statement on my handout really goes to this in the classroom. If something inspires me, I typically believe it's going to inspire my students. So I try to make sure that I play for my students, and I try to make sure that they know, you know where, my, where my performance interest lies. And because my performance interest lies so much in the electric violin, I think it's a, it's a very, um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a gateway into doing it as a student. Um, I want to be clear that, that um, I don't force electric violins on my students. I don't force it into my curriculum necessarily. Uh, it's um, it's uh, an enrichment to my curriculum. It's an opportunity that I always make available. And I, and I use it within the curriculum sometimes, but it's not like a, people sometimes have the misimpression that electric violins are like, a, like an integral part of my, of my curriculum. I think they're an integral part of my performing, and they're an integral part of what inspires me, but not necessarily an integral part of the curriculum. But as a, as a matter of kind of the way things work, it becomes a big part of it because I, my students, our students, our students emulate us in a lot of ways. So, uh, so that's number one. Uh, the other just small, quick thing that I would say in introducing what we're going to do today is, is my second statement. That a bad violinist, a bad cellist, a bad violist with an electric violin turned up is a bad violinist louder. Okay? <laughs> so if there's anybody in the room that's thinking, oh, you know, it's easier to make a nice tone quality on an electric violin than it is with an acoustic violin, I challenge you, it is not easier. It is harder, in my opinion. Um, it's harder to play in tune, I think. I, oh, it's not harder to play in tune, that's, that's not a good statement. You have to be more accurate, I think, on an electric violin than you do on, on your traditional instrument, just because of the nature of the way it works. So to that extent, uh, electric instruments are not a crutch. And in fact, I feel like pedagogically they really, you know, if you're not playing with a straight bow, it's going to really cause issues with an electric violin. Or if you're, you know, if you're uh, not accurate with your intonation, it's going to cause issues with your electric violin. So if anybody hasn't ever played these before, um, once you once you try them out, uh, you're going to learn that 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 is that is a big part of it. Um, 